Welcome back to Electrical Power Plus. In this video, we will discuss about intertrip between transmission line. Many people working on transmission line projects want to know about intertrip. To explain, we have two substations named substation A and substation B. In substation A, we have one relay, transmission line protection relay. And in substation B, we have another relay. This is also the transmission line protection relay. If any protection operate at substation B, it should be communicated to substation A. If any protection operate at substation A, it should be communicated to substation B. Between substation A and substation B, there is one communication network. By using this communication network, Substation A relay and substation B relay communicate with each other. There could be different media in between to use. Different media used between substation for communication. This I explained in my another video that communication network between transmission lines. Now the basic concept of intertrip is either at substation A or substation B. If any protection operate, it should directly go to other end and operate the lockout relay. Here at both substations, we have two lockout relays name 85R1 and 85R2. Similarly, at this station, we have 85R1 and 85R2. The difference between these two trip relays, these two trip relays, one is high speed trip relay, and other is lockout trip relay. It means 85R1 we can say is 94, it's a tripping relay and 85R2 we can say it a lockout relay for example such as a 86 relay. This 85R1 is used for fast or instantaneous tripping and this 85R2 is used for delayed tripping. How? For example, a fault occur at transmission line and protection at substation A operate. We can say this protection is differential protection. So line differential protection operated at substation A. The inter-trip signal from this relay at substation A will directly be sent to substation B and it will operate directly the 85R1 without seeing any other condition. Just it will receive here and it will operate 85R1. This we can say is fast tripping trip relay and fast tripping operation. The segregation between fast and uh, delayed tripping is the fast tripping initiate the auto recloser and the delayed tripping will block the auto recloser. That's why here two trip relays are being used. Similarly, if any delay protection, delayed protection operated, for example, 
if we can say the distance protection zone 2 or zone 3 or zone 4 operated in this case what will happen it's a delayed tripping so delay tripping inter trip signal would be go to this substation b and it will operate 85 r2 both 85 r1 and r2 will trip the tripping coil it mean either 85 r1 or r2 operate it will trip our circuit breaker but the difference is 85 r1 is a self reset relay and 85 r2 is a lockout relay 85 r1 will initiate the auto recloser but 85 r2 will not initiate the auto recloser it will block the auto recloser the same concept is applied on substation b if any instantaneous tripping occur it will initiate 85 r1 and if any delayed tripping occur it will initiate it will operate 85 r2 here one thing to note is for example there is a protection switch on to fault this switch on to fault is an instantaneous protection but in this case it will not operate 85 r1 if SOTF operate at substation B, it will send command and it will operate 85R2. The reason is during the switch on to fault condition, it's a dead fault and we cannot initiate the auto recloser. That's why the SOTF will also initiate 85R2. The only protections through which we want to initiate our auto recloser will come here at 85R1. But the any prote the other protections for which we don't want to initiate the auto recloser will come to 85R2. For example, in case of differential protection operate, if single phase differential protection operate, it will go to 85R1. If two phase or three phase differential protection operate, it will not operate 85R1, it will operate 85R2. This all the logic we need to make in the concerned protection relay that which signal will operate 85R1 and which signal will operate 85R2 this configuration we need to make in our relay so this is actually the inter trip the most important thing to know about inter trip is it will not check any other condition on receiving if inter if substation a receive inter trip from substation b without seeing any condition it will either operate 85 r1 or 85 r2 Similarly, if this substation B receive an inter-trip signal from substation A, it will not see any other condition and it will directly operate 85R1 and 85R2. And similarly, the circuit breaker will trip. The substation which sent the inter-trip signal, it already tripped its circuit breaker and the similarly at the same time it will send inter trip signal and the remote and circuit breaker will also trip the inter trip is used for better protection of the network if for example here protection operate but due to some reason this protection could not operate maybe this protection not healthy or any other failure so if this protection operate mean this will directly operate this circuit breaker also if this protection b operate it will directly operate the circuit breaker at substation a so this is we can say 
is a redundant protection or to enhance the protection of the transmission line. So this is all about the intertrip. If you have doubt about the communication network and communication other communication signals between substation A and B, this is available in the separate video. Goodbye.